first and foremost, we want to give our honor, our praise, our glory to Yahweh, for our son, and our side, by our son, our with us, Yahweh, the heavenly father, who the word and we call God, and our side, the only God, son, who the word and we call Jesus Christ. I'd like to say for water or thank you, to Yahweh, by our son, our side, for the word talk with us, the word talk with us is the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind the blessing. <clears throat> I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Will. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all the occupant ones of one all around the world, preaching and teaching his word and truth and in sincerity. Shalom on to the whole for the I just thought you call with the man of God of South Carolina coming back with another lesson. And I just want to go in on this article as you see on the screen. So I'm going to read a little bit and dive into it. It says West Virginia couple charged with adopting. Black children solely to work as slaves. Sir Jean Whitefeather and Donald Lance have been charged with child neglect, human trafficking, and forced labor after they treated the children like slaves. It says, when you see that a couple adopted five black children out of the kindness of their hearts, one may assume that they are good people who genuinely care about the well being of their kids. Allegedly, this couple doesn't fit that bill. <clears throat> Says Jean Whitefeather and Donald Lance are being accused of adopting five black children ages 6 to 16 only to force them to work as slaves and live in vile conditions on their West Virginia barn. It's alleged that these children were specifically, specifically targeted because of their race. All right. And, um... That's all, that's all you got to read right there, man. All right, so you got two devils, all right? Two Edomite devils, okay, that adopted <clears throat> five Judite children, all right, and basically treated them like slaves, man. All right, and this is why, all right, this is just why one reason that, what, man, that uh, these other nations are going to go into hardcore bondage, all right? Going to be a hardcore bondage, hardcore slavery when the Messiah comes back, man. When Yahweh Shah returns, when the one <clears throat> who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ returns, and the kingdom of heaven is set up, okay, these heathen nations are going to be a hardcore bondage, hardcore slavery for the things, the atrocities that they have done to the Lord's people, which are the Israelites. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those that descend from them on their father's side, the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? It, this is uh, one reason why, man, things like this, things like this that happen in today's time, okay? Things that happen in the what? Uh, uh, 90s, 80s, 70s, 60s, 50s, okay, 40s, 30s, all right, all the way until the time uh, of when the Messiah was on the scene, okay? These different empires, these heathens are going to go into hardcore slavery then. Ultimately, after their hardcore sentence uh, of slavery is up, they're going to be exterminated off the face of the earth, man. All right, this is why we, hey, man, <clears throat> grab some scriptures, man. This is why he got to go. This is why he is going to go. That's why we hate you, Edomites, man. That's why we hate you, devils. All right, because we know what you hate us. All right, I ain't going to get too riled up. I'm at <laughs> I'm at slavery right now, so I'm going to keep calm, man. This is uh, Malachi 1 and 1. It says, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. It says, I have loved you, said the Lord, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord? Yet I love Jacob. All right, so right here in Malachi is telling you that, all right, that what? Yeah, Esau and Jacob was brothers, okay? But what? The Lord loved Jacob, and Jacob is the forefather of the Israelites, all right? It says, and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. See, the Lord hates Esau. All right, how about Shemel Shai hates Esau, okay? That's why he cursed him with that uh that curse of Cain. All right, that leprosy. Now granted you have Israelites with leprosy, but hey, who got who had is the most with leprosy? Esau Edom, man. That's their that's their uh, uh trait. 
All right. But the Lord hates the Edomites and what? So do we, man. That's why we hate what the Lord hates. Let me grab that. All right. This is Psalms 139 and 21. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee. See, these Edomites hate the Lord. All right. These, they hate Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right. See, what these Edomite love is Jesus. And that's a whole different God. But they hate the God of the Bible. They hate the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So what? Just like our forefather, King David. All right, we hate Edomites, man. All right, look at the things they do to Jake. They still got that hatred for Jake in their spirit. It said, do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee, and am, am not I grieve with those things, it's like it, and am not I grieve with those that rise up against thee? It says, I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Yes, yeah, so these people are our enemies, man. All right, and soon, you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans are going to know and recognize who your enemies are. See, us brothers in the faith, we know that these other nations are our enemies. No matter how much they smile and laugh and look harmless, we know that these people are the devil, man. These people got the spirit of Satan in them, all right? This is Satan's uh, counterpart, man. As we are the image of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Esau Edom is the image of Satan, man. Okay? And they were going into slavery, man. Esau Edom is going into slavery. This is why they, hey, there's hella reasons why they're going into slavery. All right? Uh, Romans 9 and 13, as it is written, Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated. All right? The Lord loves Jacob and hates Esau, man. All right, and that's why Esau even was mad, all right, about the birthright. <laughs> but yeah, man, the Lord hates Esau and what we do too, man. But look, look at this thing. Don't it doesn't this look like your enemy? Look what they do to your people. All right, is isn't this your enemy? People that do this to or well, your nation, people that had your nation in slavery. Just think about the uh let's just think about slavery over here in Babylon the Great. The transatlantic transatlantic slave trade. All right, isn't that a people that hates you? These are, these are the same people. These are the descendants uh, uh, of those people who had bought Jake from the shores of Africa and various other places around the world. All right, to Babylon the Great in chains and shackles. All right, it's Isaiah fourteen and twenty one. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. So yeah, prepare slaughter for the children, all right, for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. And that slaughter is coming. That slaughter of the Edomites, all right? And all these heathen nations is coming soon when the Messiah returns, man. We can't wait to put you heathens, uh, have you heathens in subjection. I don't want to I'm part of that elect number, all right? But in the kingdom, what? Israel going to be good. All Israel going to be good. All right? And all Israel is going to uh, uh, be putting hell on these other nations, especially Esau, Edom, man. They're going to be the worst of the worst slaves. All right? It's Obadiah 1 and 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. And they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. All right, so after that hardcore bondage, after that thousand years of slavery, Esau, Edom, all right, is going to be devoured, man. And none shall be remaining of the house of Esau, because you got to get these people off the earth, or they're going to keep defiling, defiling and being demons, okay? <clears throat> They can't wait, man, to uh, to these heathens are in subjection. Hate you devils. All right? It's Revelation 13 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. All right? So this is the patience and the faith, all right, uh, uh, of the saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites. All right, we, we're patiently waiting for the Messiah to turn, return so he could bring forth righteousness on the earth. And, and what else? 
and, and put the heathen in captivity. All right? For all the atrocities that they have done to the children of Israel, man. Okay? Uh, them Edomites got them uh, kid Jake's in slavery, man. All right? Uh, hey, and that's why the Lord is going to bring death and destruction to Babylon the Great. That's why this World War III is going to pop off, man. Yahweh Yahweh Shem Yahshua is going to uh, recompense uh, Jacob. All right. Uh, let's see. I read verse two, Joel three and two. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, or right, Yahweh Shapat, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. See, Yahweh by Shem is going to send these nations to the valley of Yahweh Shapat to judge them. All right, for what? From for for his people, for his heritage, Israel, man. All right, man, man, like, where well, Esau Edom gonna get it, man? Can't hate these devils. All right, um, that's all I want on there. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna close it out with that, man, because you can go on and on. And this. Just thinking about all the atrocities, all the wickedness, all the evil that Esau Edom has done to Jacob, all right, over 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 these centuries, all right, it'll get you in your feelings, man. You gotta calm yourself down, for real. But uh, <laughs> let me uh <laughs> go ahead and wrap this up for Jake get a little hype up. So you know, just wanted to bring this out. That's why Esau Edom going to slavery. For the atrocities that they did, for touching the apple of the Lord, I, you know, so stay prayed up, stay uh in the faith, stay fighting, stay uh wanting Yahweh by send me outside, uh Yahweh to send Yahweh side on the earth and have righteousness on earth. Call Halal Yahweh by send me outside, Shalom.